On the front lines of Christian missions are the Christian workers with their families. They are the hands and feet of the Christian movement who work to bring the gospel to the unreached peoples of various nations, tribes, and languages. As the next generation of Christian workers, children of missionary families need guidance, education, and training. Faith Academy Davao meets these needs by providing primary education and training to children of Christian workers out in the mission fields of Southeast Asia. As a branch of Faith Academy in Manila, Faith Academy Davao is located on the largest island south of the Philippine archipelago. Its proximity to Southeast Asian countries makes it viable for missionaries working among the people groups in these parts of the world. The Davao School is here because there's a, it's a good launching spot for other places as well as what's happening here. So it's got those two unique things. The diversity of the students, there's um, many different cultural backgrounds represented here among our students and, and even backgrounds. Some students are children of business and diplomat parents while most of our students are children of missionaries. It, it provides a really rich kind of flavor in the classroom. It also provides some challenges. Faith Davao is unique in that it's a location that's very strategic. From this place you can get many places and even in this city of 1.5 million people there's a great ministry. Many of our people travel and go different places where the message of Christ hasn't gone before. It's exciting for me to hear what the students' families are doing and when I hear about you know, parents who are either church planning or um, translating scriptures or things that it's exciting to be a part of that in a support role, so it's, it gives us a little bit of a broader view of what we're doing, even though our role is mainly in the classroom and working with kids. Well, the people group that God called me to are called MKs, and they are the wildest tribe in all of Southeast Asia. They're the children of the missionaries. And they are they're really unique. They have a different worldview because of all the traveling, the transitions they've gone through, the impact they've had on their parents' ministry, the things they've seen are very different. Very in tune with other people because they're so used to being around different cultures, uh, different people, different language groups, and they have a lot of um, um, a lot of respect for each other and I think that's very special. Most of them are completely nice and they are considerate of everybody else. They're all weird in their own way and it's all good. Lots of different kinds. And some of them are very, very clever. And some of them are funny but they're still really cool. Because we're here, it frees dads and moms up to be able to go ahead and do their ministry. It's a neat place to teach. There's kids from all over the world here, and most of them are just they're they're eager to be uh, to do well in school, and they and they like they seem to like school, and so it makes it fun to teach, makes it an exciting place to be. At Faith Academy Davao, about 50% of our students are from the from the United States. We can play lots of games. It is a nice school. I have lots of friends here. It's fun. There's more activities down here and just things where the people from the Faith Davao community can come together and just hang out and get to know each other better. But 30% of our students are from Korea and that's real exciting to see that change happening in the, in the mission community. I like Faith Academy because we have friendly friends. There's lots of kids to play with and it's a good school. And teachers are very kind and nice. Our teachers are fantastic. They come, they serve without salaries. They come because they want to be here. So their motivation is really strong. They're very committed, very caring and compassionate. Teachers are very diverse too. We are from all over the place and have many different interests, many different uh, abilities, but um, are all here for the same reason and that's to work with the children. Everybody had to specifically go out of their way to get here. And so it's, there's a feeling of, of warmth in that everybody wants to be here. It's not what they do while they're doing other jobs. This is why they're here. Here you hear the teachers talking about what a great job this student did and how fun they are to have in their class and what great ideas they have for their class and it's just a completely different feeling. The relationship and the rapport we can have with the children that in a lot of schools you really don't have the opportunity to get to know the children so well. They really know how to teach you so you learn 
so you're not just, you know, throwing the inches away for a rainy day. They make your day really fun. They don't want it to be boring. Uh, they all know how to make teaching fun and educational. Very nice and friendly. They're really helpful and they have a great way of teaching. So another nice thing about Davao is it's intense in, in many of the things you do, but you also have an opportunity within a half hour to be places where you can let it all go and you can, can relax and you can meditate and you can re-energize. The, the setting here is just, it's really, it's laid back and it's, uh, uh, it's, it makes it uh, a lot of fun to, to be in a small community and being able to, to be a part of that community and knowing everyone real well and being able to um, know the families really well. And Davao is much more friendly. It's a very family friendly place. The housing is inexpensive and, and decent. There are all the amenities around. You can shop, you can get the transportation you need. The, the best thing is definitely the people. Location is not bad either. The, the best thing about it is the people. I grew up in the Philippines and so I enjoy the country, but the, the people here are what, are what makes it the most enjoyable for me. In addition to that, it has an international airport which can take you to many countries very close to here. We also have a great group of international kids and business kids who are here that come from all sorts of countries with multinational companies here. And it's just exciting to have that mixture in there and, just, and to have them provide just a little bit of flavor to our school. It's been a lot of fun and also a challenge, but to just really try to reach and you know, work with each student at wherever they're at and also learn from them and their cultural background. Wow, the teachers, they were so awesome. They like to be here because it's a good exposure to them, not only for different kinds of cultures of the Western people, but also the cultures of the culture and traditions of the Filipino people. Everybody here is willing to do the best they can for the children and people are willing to share their experience and expertise with each other to help everybody to do the best job that they can for the kids. You get all kinds of different senses of fun coming out and enthusiasm and enjoyment. It's quite interesting. Not normal. Not, not, not normal in the sense of what you might be used to. Not usual. So you get all kinds of unpredictable surprises, which are quite fun. Faith Academy Davao serves a unique purpose. In many ways, it is an international school providing education to multinational students. At the same time, it provides quality Christian education to missionary children, ensuring that the seed of Christian values will develop to impact lives. Faith Academy Davao is more than a campus. It's a community of families with shared goals spurring one another in their spiritual walk. The workers will always be few and the task plenty but you can have your place in the commitment to educate the children here. If you want to be forced forward in your spiritual walk, this is a place to come because everybody here wants that and desires that. As a team, we push forward in that direction.